Well, welcome everybody to today's episode of Real Life Perspective by Filmmaker. I'm sure you guys all know what today is after trampling each other in Walmart to find the best deal on a camera, but today is Black Friday. And Black Friday and all the Christmas season is a fantastic time to get special deals on all your filmmaking stuff. Since filmmaking can be a very expensive hobby, it's always a great time to pick up on different things. Like two years ago, I picked up on my keyboard. It cost about a thousand dollars, but you know, a little bit cheaper. You get some special deals uh, when it comes time for that, even if it's just money that you've gotten from friends and family. Last year, I bought my uh, computer, and this year I actually bought a new computer. Uh, just today, woo! So, definitely exciting stuff. Uh, not that you guys will really see any difference. But, on that note, there are a lot of things out there that you should really consider getting. Uh, like for cameras, uh, I definitely recommend the T3i. Definitely, I love it to bits. I will be buying it as I leave. As this one is not actually mine, it's my mother's. And when I go off to college, I have to be self-sufficient. So, you know, can't really drive back from California to borrow a camera. But anyways, T3i would be my number one recommendation for anyone who has to stay under $1,000. If you can go up to $1,000, I haven't played with it much, but the T4i really is the same thing, a little bit better picture quality, better low light, but it has autofocus, which when I do something like this, if I move forward, I am auto out of focus, because it's on manual, and it doesn't have automatic video focus. But if I move back to here, you can see me because I'm in focus. Whereas a T4i would have corrected for all of that. Not that when you're actually filming you should ever be using autofocus, but for something like this it's fantastic because you don't have to worry about it being weird and whatnot. But anyways, um, if you have the $2,000 range, I'm gonna go uh, the 5D Mark III, but, but if you really want to do it the Black Magic, but honestly, eh, I'm rather unimpressed by the Black Magic. It doesn't even have 60 frames per second. That's really sad. It really makes me depressed. But if you're going boom mics uh, or shotgun mics, I would recommend if you have very, very little the Rode microphone, which is what I'm using right now. So, you know, it's what I use for most of my audio. It's acceptable, but I will be upgrading relatively soon. Uh, if you do have room to upgrade, Audio-Technica has some good ones, lower range. Uh, I wouldn't stick with Audio-Technica that much, even though I'm a big proponent of their stuff. I would recommend the Rode NTG2 for your mid-range, because Rode has fantastic microphones. Uh, if you have a little bit more, uh, Sennheiser has got some good ones in the five or $600 range. If you're gonna go 600 though, going back to Rode, they have the NTG3, which is much better audio quality and water resistant. So if you're using it like near a waterfall or something, all the backsplash isn't going to bother you. Or it won't corrode over time if you live in Seattle or someplace near the beach, which is a big plus for me going to California. You know, I really don't want my microphone decaying every year and having to buy a new one. So buying something that's water resistant might be useful to me. Uh, if you're going into computers, I mean, it's really about what you need there. I, you got to look at different stuff. Make sure that you have a decent amount of RAM so you can still run your programs, uh, processor so that you can render faster, because we all know what a pain rendering can be. No. Uh, but really, I mean, just really good prices. Microphones, uh, condenser microphones, they cheap. True. True. Shotgun microphones. They cheap. Oh, you know that's right. Keyboards. They never cheap. Preach it, brother. Headphones. They cheap. Give me my headphones. iPad. They not really cheap. Oh, no. Cameras. They cheap. Hallelujah. Lights. They cheap. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. But that brings me to my point for today. Really, it doesn't matter what equipment you have specifically. It really doesn't matter if you have, you know, millions of dollars worth of stuff, but you're not good at telling your story. It really doesn't matter all that much. But at the same time, that doesn't mean shoot full cinematic quality on your iPad. It's just not going to work. You got to invest in some tools every once in a while, like the C3i. Obviously, I do use my iPad, but not for important things. Like I would have never done no R on my iPad wouldn't even begin to try it. It would be absurd. But things like the T3i, I mean, it's $700 range, uh, 600. 
Uh, you know, really not that big of a deal. You can find it on Craigslist for 500 I believe. Not the idiot who thought he could get that and the lens and everything in it for 350 Just don't be stupid. You can't get stuff for dirt cheap, but you can get stuff with a different, decent deal. You, you can use simple tools to get a great product. And that brings me to my other point is I just got these, the work lights for 500, uh, 500 watt work lights from Home Depot for 30 bucks a piece. And I'm using one, just one to light this video right now. And I really like it. I'm bouncing it off my ceiling so it's really spreading out and I love it. Oh my gosh. So if you do have these lights, Obviously, you're gonna have a lot more light than you're used to. So what you're gonna need to do if you have that, you're gonna need to turn your shutter speed down on your camera, but max out your ISO and just, you know, turn it down as much as you can. So you let in tons of light natively out here, but in camera, you're gonna, you're gonna turn it down a little bit and it makes your picture a lot less grainy, which can make it look like your camera's a lot better than it really is. Simple trick of the day. But uh, on that note, it's the Christmas season, so get ready for a buttload of uh, fun Christmas themed videos from your life perspective. And thank you for watching today's episode.